welcome today i would like to talk about uh, this uh, good package called json.net uh, for c sharp which you can use to essentially serialize and deserialize json so let's get started and uh, i'll explain it to you what it is so i've already uh, installed the package newtonsoft.json so it's all good and for this example what i'm going to do is uh, I have created a date, some arbitrary date, and I give it to a class and I can show you what that class is. And that class has essentially some properties such as name, healthy, legs, date, and badges. And you can see the types of these properties. Uh, and we want to uh, serialize this object and see what it does. And for the list badges, I'm just specifying some values here. So let's uh, uh, see how easy it is to serialize. So I have an object of type information and I want to serialize this as a string. So let's see how you can do that using JSON. So what you want to do is access the um, JSON convert. Then you can access uh, something called serialize object and you can uh, give it the object uh, itself uh, to it. And uh, when you're serializing this object, you can also sp uh, specify some formatting. And I'm going to specify this formatting as indented because I'm going to print it out. So that's the whole reason. So once you do this, you should get back a string which is essentially formatted. And to see if it was done correctly, we are going to do console.write line and uh, write the string and see. Uh, we get what we expected. So let me just run this here and uh, show it to you as to if I just did this, what would happen? So as you can see, that worked pretty good actually for this object in terms of serializing. But as you would notice that the name property is null, the legs property is null and it's still printed out. And for some, and you can see the date is printed out as an ISO. So I wanted to kind of show you some quick ways how you can control the serialization the easy way. So let's get started. So I'm going to my interface here where I've defined these things and not the actual class because you can control it in the interface as, as well. And I'm going to uh, say that uh, for some reason we want to use a different name for this property. So let's just call it uh, JSON property. And uh, we are going to give it a name in capitalize. So just its name. And we want to give it some option for null value handling, null uh, value handling. And the property I want to uh, specify is null value handling dot ignore. So we want to ignore the name property if it is null. So we want to do that. Another thing you can do is you can saw that the legs was uh, essentially uh, if you created an object with uh, nothing in there it was null so let's say if I, you can also use another attribute called json ignore so i'm going to do that here so name json ignore for date time uh, i'm going to also uh, use some kind of a converter here so let me demonstrate how you can use a converter here so i need to do something called a json converter and here you would specify type of your converter and I already have created a converter that I'm going to use called my converter. So let's see what this con my converter does. My converter is essentially inheriting from ISO, dot, uh, ISO date time converter. And uh, it has a property called date time format in ISO date time converter. And I'm going to specify just this date time in the constructor of this. I'm going to specify the format year, month and day. So if I just did that, I can uh, show you uh, how this would run. So let's just uh, run this quickly here. And uh, while uh, we're just waiting, we can kind of see, okay. So now if you see here, you can see that the uh, date is in the correct format and the name was not, name and lex is not shown because we had null value ending ignore. I didn't show you the property name uh, uh, showing up. So let's just do that by uh, setting up the name property in the constructor. So when the constructor comes in, let's say I want to make sure the name has a value. So name uh, could be God associate, for example. And 
and when I serialize you should be able to see a capitalized name because that's what we specified for the serialization so let's do a quick check here and it should just take a second it shouldn't take that long so here you can see the name is capitalized so this is actually a great way to control your serialization uh, just through attributes and I found this to be one of the simplest ways to do it and as you can see where we had a list string which was some badges and it automatically does a serialization as an array which is good enough for us what we need so we don't need to worry about it the only other thing I wanted to kind of demonstrate is you can also do deserialization here and it's very uh, simple so if, let's say if you wanted to take this string and deserialize it what you can do is you can call uh, sorry uh, there's the wrong one json convert again we use json convert we want to say deserialize object and here as a generic we specify the type of the object because it's strongly typed for us and so we're going to uh, use information and here I'm going to just uh, take the string that we have and deserialize into new info so to demonstrate that I'm just going to run this in debug and we can uh, kind of stop over here and take a quick look at what the new info object looks like and it should be coming up here so as you can see the new info has come up and here it is serialized or deserialized uh, properly into what we expected so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you uh, I'm going to add this uh, video on my website under Gaur Associates and I'm going to put it under json.net uh, in few minutes. Thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.